Hello, Mancraft. My name is BrettXpose11, and welcome to another video. Today, I'm doing another snapshot video for the Minecraft 13W1A, uh, the first snapshot of 2013. I know there's another snapshot, that um, 13W1B, uh, but I couldn't do that because it wouldn't work on my computer. So we're just going to go from here, uh, and before we get the, started into this, uh, sorry, I haven't posted for the past couple of days, I just moved back uh, from Toronto to where I live, and I've been working on my album, which is going to be out on the uh, the end of January, if you guys want that, I'll put it out somewhere for you guys to download, but yeah, let's get started on this. So first, we got the trap chest, which looks basically like a normal chest, except it looks kind of as if it got like a nosebleed or something and you can see if I open it that the uh, this repeater right there will turn on like that so th it basically just activates redstone and then we have the hopper which uh, is crafted like so um, and you take whatever block you want and you can throw it into the hopper oops I missed you can go ahead and throw it into the hopper and it'll go into the into the hopper and then transport into the chests at like a one block per second or something like that or two blocks a second um... if i wanted to place a hopper near one of these things i can't just place it right there because if you look here there's kind of like a tube at the bottom connecting to it i have to like shift click the side and then there's the connector if you see right there the connectors right there but if I don't do that then it won't connect and you can't put the chest on top of the hopper otherwise that's not gonna work but yeah you can just put it like that and because uh, there's uh, the art for the um, thing that you see in your hand uh, why is it WIP you ask it stands for work in progress they still haven't finished doing it like for the in hand so yeah, that's about it for the hoppers. I I would guess they would I would use them for like some kind of trash can. It's got potential for that. These are the redstone comparators. I think it's pronounced. Um, what it does is it compares the redstone that it, it compares the redstone circuits from which way that it would come from and see which are stronger. But I, it's not working the way it should. This should like if I made this redstone current go a little bit further. Um, until it is not even able to work. This, um, instead of just continuing from there, once you right click on the actual thing itself, that light at the front will turn on, that red sun light at the front will turn on, but it's not working. It should actually regenerate the red sun current like a normal repeater would do, but um, it's broken. Mm, they're still working on it, but if I try to turn on one of these things from the side, there's another thing that should work. It'll just turn off the the redstone compare rate and it just won't work which is another reason why it is broken and same thing from this side and yeah it's crafted like so I probably showed you that um, but if I didn't I'll give you a longer look at it I don't know if I should there you go and then other quartz which I'll show you guys that after all right so now we got the um, the what's it called the daylight sensor, um, and it is crafted like so. Um, what it does is it uses the sunlight and powers redstone. So if I set the time to zero, which is just dawn, you'll see that these ones lights turned off and the essentially it's a solar power, so solar panel, and it will come down on there and it'll go and power what it goes like that. But when you see if I press this button, it's time set to 1000, it went up, but when I set it to nighttime or midnight, and it'll just completely turn off like a regular solar panel. So, yeah, I'm gonna set it back to daytime. There we go, that's cool. Um, we, uh, if you guys want to see, I'll just sit here for a couple of seconds, watch it as it gains. You see, it gains one, I'll just gain another one, then I'll go. Du -du -du -du. Watch the sunrise. Ah, it's not working. Oh, well, it's doing it slowly but surely. Um, and then now we have the, um, the weighted pressure plates, the light and the heavy, and this is how they're crafted, gold like that, and then the iron one like that. So, 
if I was to uh, use this, I can't stand on it and activate it. You have to use blocks. And if I drop one, uh, oh, no, that's a whole stack, but I just want to drop one. That's stupid. Um, if I just want to drop one on it, it'll activate one, one redstone. But if I keep dropping more blocks onto it, onto it, it'll, the current will go further and further. All right, sorry guys about that. Um, I imported the movies into iMovie, but then it actually, for some reason, paused right about here. So we're just gonna continue. So wait, let me just put a piston here just to show you guys how long it takes. Um, so this is the light one and the light weight, the weight pressure plate, and it's the light one and that's the heavy one. They're crafted like so, and you throw the block onto it. And then it lights up. You can see one redstone's been light up, and now two, and then three, and then now the piston is up with less than a stack. Um, the heavy one takes a lot more than that. Um, you see, that's one, but I'll just throw the entire stack up because it's still, still just there, and then we'll just throw it all, and then. The lapis, the dead bush, and the pistons, and eh, it's still not even there, and it's been like five stacks of stuff. So let's just throw more stuff. If it even land, and out, it missed. But anyway, you get you get the the gist of everything. It'll take a lot to set this off. Um, and then we have the new redstone block, which is crafted like so as any normal block of would be crafted and it, essentially it works as a redstone torch because if you put the redstone torch there the repeater will turn off I mean will turn on that's a lag okay um yeah but uh whatever so essentially it's a redstone torch because uh when you move it if I put that one there this repeater will turn off and this one will turn on because the block actually works as a torch itself and then we have the new nether quartz, which you've which you've seen in the crafting of about everything else of all the new redstone stuff besides the hopper. So uh, I th I believe it can be mined with almost any pickaxe. Let's see if I can just get a uh, a wooden pickaxe and see if that works. And then slash game whoops slash game uh, game mode zero and then I have my wooden pickaxe yeah it can be mined with any kind of pickaxe wooden above even though wood's the only <laughs> the first one so wooden above it can be mined up from that and it looks like this I'm not really sure what exactly it's supposed to be but it is what it is and it's found in the nether obviously and yeah, thanks for watching, and with a cow in the distance, two cows in the distance, three cows in the distance, I bid you a farewell. No, 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 don't go just yet. I have one more thing to show you. So, what we have here is we have a lamp that will only be powered at nighttime. So what it does here is we have the um, the light sensor, which is keeping the piston activated because it is daytime, and it had the redstone block there, and then we have the piston, and the lamps, and the fence is just for decoration. So when it comes nighttime, if I set time to 1600, um, whoops, yep, time set. Oh my goodness. All right. Well, slash time set one six. Mm -mm. All right. So now as night, uh, the detector, the daylight detector or sensor, whatever you want to call it, will turn off the piston. The piston will bring up the redstone block and will activate the um, lamps. So if you've got like a little Minecraft village where in your survival world and you have some nether quartz and stuff. You can make your own little only only nighttime lamps, which are actually a pretty awesome idea if you ask me. I'd definitely be using those for a lot of things in this game. So yeah. See ya. Meow.
um, with the cow and its pants, I bid you a farewell. Mom.